Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2017 and we are doing this problem 27 of the section A. So it is a problem of analysis. Let us have a look. So in this problem C, what you have to do, you have to find out limit of this sum. Alright, so it is a very easy problem. If you have done problems of this kind, you can easily solve it. So now let us firstly write what we have to do. So you have to find out the limit of this sum. So what I will do, I will rationalize firstly every term which is written. So see why I am doing rationalization is, is it is because you will see after multiplying root 3 minus root 6 and root 3 minus root 6 on the denominator you will get see these roots will be removed so you will get something very easy to calculate so what I am doing I am rationalizing every term so just rationalize root 6 minus root 9 then you have root 6 minus root 9 and similarly you will do rationalization for all the terms which is written so what you will get is this so this is what you will get now if you will multiply you have to apply c a plus b into a minus b so it will be a square minus b square so let me write that part so this is why I was doing rationalization because after rationalization the denominator for every term will be same. Why? Because see in the nth term also if you will subtract 3n three, three from 3n plus 3 you will get uh, 3. Are you getting my point? So this is what we have done so far. So uh, now let us now take LCM and you will see what will happen by taking LCM. Now see after taking LCM every term previous term is cancelled by the next term to it so this will be cancelled by the term which is written over here so previous term that is negative term is cancelled by a positive term written after it so that means 3n plus root 3n will be cancelled out by a previous term negative term is getting cancelled by the next term that means positive term will be cancelled by the previous one so the root 3n will be cancelled by the previous one so in order to cancel this minus root 3n plus 3 you need a term which is next to it so we don't have that term that means this will be equal to limit n goes to infinity we have minus 1 by 3 and then we have this minus times of 3n plus 3 by root n so if you will take uh, if you will take uh, n common outside so you will get root n root n will be cancelled by this so the limit if you will evaluate it you will get it to be 1 by root 3 are you getting my point so it is easy to calculate that you can do yourself so for this problem 3 is the answer 3 is the answer and all the other remaining options are false if you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you